Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel for another video. And uh, a lot of you have been asking what happened to the Apollo RFZ. Did I sell it? Did I get rid of it? Did it blow up? What happened to it? Is it gone? Well, today we're gonna answer all your questions on what happened to the Apollo RFC, so let's just get right into it. So it has been uh, probably like two months since we've had uh, the Apollo RFC out for a ride, and uh, I'm missing it just as much as you guys. That bike is just a lot of fun to ride, and I'm, I'm just missing getting on the power band and ripping that thing through the trails, man. The XR100 is just not the same and uh, I'm sure you guys are missing the video content on the Apollo. So to answer you guys' this question, did I sell the Apollo RFC? Nope, I still got it. So we still have the Apollo RFC, it's still kicking. I didn't sell it, I didn't get rid of it, I didn't want to get rid of it. I'm still eager as hell to get on that bike and go out and ride it out on the trails. I broke it. So uh, yeah, I broke that dirt bike and so I've been riding the XR100 around for a while now and I broke that the other weekend. So now both the dirt bikes are broken. So now we're out here and we're gonna go ahead and see if we can try and at least fix one of the two dirt bikes. Take a peek at them. So yeah, you guys heard me right. I broke both the dirt bikes. Uh, I broke both the XR100 and the Apollo RFC. So let's go ahead and we'll just quickly cover what happened on the XR100. So as you guys know, I've been out ripping the XR100 instead of the Apollo and uh, I'm sure on one of the last trails I had a stick come up into the bike. If you guys can see here on the, this is the shift lever here and you can see it's, it's pretty well like wet as hell with oil and you can see the seal. You can see this o-ring here is pretty well just soaking with oil and uh, I'm pretty sure I've had a stick come up and hit it or something, I don't know, but nonetheless, it uh, it's leaking a bunch of oil out of it onto the ground. Uh, so that bike is out of commission until I can get a replacement O-ring there for that shifter. So that's what happened to the XR100 is we just had a little mishap. It looks like a little O-ring started leaking oil. So we're just gonna go ahead and slap a new O-ring in that and that thing should be good as new, ready to rip and did go for Jessica so she can go out and ride it because I've been ripping it for the last little while since the Apollo RFC is down. So now let's go ahead and we'll jump into what's going on and what's wrong with the Apollo RFC and we can see if we can maybe fix that dirt bike today. So let's get into it. So here is our 2020 Apollo RFZ. Now if some of you guys are new to the channel. Uh, this is a 150cc swapped, uh, originally a 125cc Apollo RFC. It did have originally the 12 and 14 inch tires on it. Now this does have the upgraded 14 and 17 inch with some custom Dunlop tires on there. And uh, if you guys checked out our last live stream, you guys would know we've already done a repair on the gas tank uh, since it cracked and then we welded it. And then since the metal itself is so paper thin, uh, the welds pretty much just welded through the gas tank and created longer holes. So then we went over and JB welded the tank. The JB weld went over and held for an entire ride, which you guys can go and check up here if you wanna see that ride. The tank lasted for a whole ride and then like a weekend later, we went to come out and ride again and it came out into the garage and it just absolutely reeked like fuel. And the first assumption was, yep, I bet that's the Apollo RFZ trying to leak gas and kill us all in our sleep and explode our garage. But uh, yeah, so uh, we're gonna go ahead, we'll pull this RFC tank back off and see if we can fix it again. Now this time, instead of JB Weld, we got something else. And I went and pulled this out the depths. As you can see, it's quite beat up and it's been around the, been around on the block for a hot minute. But uh, we got some seal all here, which is, which is specifically for gas and oil, as you guys can see here. So this should, uh, should be able to hopefully seal up this gas tank as long as I can apply it well enough to it and uh, should be able to seal up the gas tank and hopefully we can go out and go rip this thing sooner than later because I've been watching like a hawk trying to find a new gas tank just to buy one outright and just slap a new tank in it uh, as well as doing the upgrade for a plastic gas tank and neither of the gas tanks are in stock. They've been completely sold out for like the last month and a bit which is driving me nuts because I just want to buy the nicer like plastic tank, just slap it in there, forget about it and be done with it and go out and rip it on the trails again. So I'm itching to ride the bike, but we'll go ahead and we're gonna pull these plastics off. And uh, yeah, so let's just hop into it like this. All right, and then we got access to our gas tank here. So we'll go ahead, we'll pull our gas tank off and we'll sit that up on the counter and let's see if we can get some uh, magic happening and fix our weld again. So as you guys can see, here's our old JB weld. And this is where the gas tank continued to leak out of, all because of this bolt here originally cracked. I originally lost the bolt that held the gas tank in here, so I put in a different bolt. And when I did, the little tiny booger welds couldn't hold up to it and then those things just snapped and uh, that's where it started leaking gas out of the gas tank. So we'll see if we can fix that up again. All right, there we go. Now ideally you would want some brake cleaner, but uh, we got some carb cleaner here I'm gonna use. And I'm just gonna go ahead and hit a little bit of this on here. 
and um, we're just gonna try and clean and prep that surface. A little bit of that, and take this and try and wipe it down as best as we can, and just remove any grease or anything nasty that's on there. Let's try and get a nice clean surface to bond this to. See all that dirt on there? I got a feeling it's somewhere right here in this crack, actually. I can see a little tiny micro crack. Right up in here is where it's cracked, right at the tip of my fingernail. So there's a little micro crack. We'll head and uh, read our instructions. Or read our instructions on the seal all and uh, we'll see what it says to do. Oh Jesus. Yeah, I try and read those instructions. Lovely. Well, I got my best of knowledge of trying to read what's on the back here, which is pretty well useless, but uh, I'm gonna take a wild guess and say, let's just glob this sucker up on here and I'll uh, we'll put a set of gloveys on the fingers not to get this covered on our fingers and we'll go ahead and just apply that on there and see what happens. This stuff's kind of like jelly. Never worked with this seal all product before, but it's kind of like snot. All right, now that our gas tank is all covered in that boogery, snotty seal all stuff, we'll go ahead and we'll leave it like 24 hours and we'll come back tomorrow out into the garage and we'll see if it's sealed up. So I will see you guys uh, tomorrow. All right, and it's the next day, so here's our gas tank. We got our seal all on that, it's nice and hard now. No longer snotty booger, so we'll go ahead and uh, I guess nothing's left, but to go ahead, we'll throw some gasoline in it and we'll, we'll see if our uh, seal all held up there and we'll see if it leaks any gas out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put a set of vice grips on the gas fuel line here so we don't have a bunch of fuel just come running out here when I put some gas in it. So hopefully this fix can do it so we can get back out on the trails and get ripping the Apollo RFZ because I am itching to ride that thing. Especially with there being some snowfall around the corner up in the hills. We should go out and do some uh, snow ripping in the Apollo RFZ. If you guys want to see that, go ahead and smash that like button down below and let me know down in the comments if that's something you want to see. And, moment of truth, I don't see anything wet. Shake it over here onto the side with all the seal all. So far it doesn't look like there's uh Looks to be holding up just fine so far, so that's a good sign. I don't know if you guys can see that there, but that pretty well looks like a success to me. It looks like the gas tank's holding up just fine. That seal all looks like it's holding the gas back, so I guess uh, next for me is just gonna go ahead and throw the gas tank on the bike, uh, put some more fuel in it, and I'll uh, see if this thing leaks. And if not, then we're good to go and we'll fire it up, and uh, I guess we'll go out and go for a ride here soon. So we'll throw our gas tank on here. All right, so we got our gas tank on, our fuel lines are back on and plumbed. So now we'll go ahead and we're just gonna stick our top bolt and one of our bolts down here. And we're not gonna stick the bolt in here uh, with all the seal all, cause I do not wanna crack the tank here again. So we're just gonna put one bolt in here, one bolt in up here, and uh, then we'll pull this sucker out and see if she fires up still. So let's just go ahead and get her all buttoned up. All right, and now we got all the gas tank plastics are all back on, we'll throw the seat on, throw some fuel in it, and let's see if this thing kicks over. Oh, it's been a minute since I've sat on this bike. Anyways, uh, so we'll go ahead and make sure our fuel's turned on. Nothing seems to be leaking yet. There's no big wet spots down near where the tank would be leaking right here. So that's good. Let's see what happens. Probably still need to get some fuel through the carburetor because it was all empty. So it'll probably take a couple kicks and then we'll get it going. Oh, it was about to go right there, boys. Oh, baby! Oh, baby! Hell yeah, boys! Let's go! Let's go! Woo! <laughs> oh, man, it's been way too long, baby! RC's back, boys! RC's back! Let's go! Woo! Ah, oh, man, this is good smiles. This is what's happening. It's made of babies and stuff right here. If you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure you guys click like, leave a comment down below if you got any questions about the Apollo RC, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.